Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy Albi, and we back with another video, and bro. In today's video, bro, we're gonna be obviously walking you out through my, you know, famous story, guys. You already know how we, how we rock. Um, we're just gonna walk you out through it real quick, just you know, talk about some few stuff, put it on the screen, just you know, a little song. <laughs> and brief but keep it nice and short because apparently for this game nobody likes to hear me yapping so there it is right here this is everything that's in the game for you i want to you know stop the video and you know just look at it but you know for dragon balls and stuff like that i'm gonna talk about the dragon balls the location for certain dragon balls and stuff like that where you could go wish etc etc so now now that y'all seen that so how, the way dragon balls work dragon balls they spawn within what they have like a higher chance to spawn now but they, spawn, they have a chance to spawn every 10 minutes, from what I've heard. And this is for, like, going to Olympus. So you go up there, you talk to them if you have, like, like super rare Dragon Balls, which are, you know, corrupted Dragon Balls. And for the regular Dragon Balls, I think you have to come over here. Last time I was teleported to it. But I think it's somewhere over here. Oh, and another thing, if somebody hits you, <laughs> this is where you put the regular Dragon Balls and you make your wish. If somebody if somebody hits you, um before you make your wish, it cancels the wish. So you have to you have to make your wish super fast, bro. You can't you can't mess up. You better like know what you're wishing for when you come here. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you could wish for in just a few minutes. Just give me a minute, I gotta find it. Gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it. Alright, so from from the regular dragon what you can wish for 35k gold elixir of growth um x3 um this will change your race okay you can wish for evolve which will change your race you know like i don't know what like you want to evolve i don't know if that's gonna like mean like you turn into like a stronger race or whatever or you just change your race within like that you could roll Oh no, stone kin. Maharaga or something. I don't know. So now you feel me? If you want to do that, that's that's really just on you. I don't know if, how that's gonna go. Um, you have another wish that's I want to be stronger. It gives you a hundred XP. Whoa, twenty-five um, magic mastery. Okay, and twenty-five weapon mastery, which is a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of it's a lot of mastery there, dude. It's a lot of mastery. Um, I want a uh, mythical armor, Drake's heart, uh, battle garb. Oh yeah, that's crazy. It's Cause so what you can do, like I wish, I wish to be um, healed. I wish to like you can literally type in chat. I wish to be healed. I wish to um, you know uh, be stronger. Like and then the armor would like literally start to heal you, make you stronger, and all this other stuff. I just had a list there for a minute and make you stronger and all those other stuff. So that's one of them. And then they also added the desert area. Oh, they also added these two slots right here. So you can have like two layouts of your, you know, however you want to set up your your combos. Oh, and, uh, and I know a lot of y'all probably wondering, yo bro, why you look dirty and what happened to Dragon Scale? But I removed it cause so with the Lotharian race, if you have it, you could evolve it with wishing for a drag um, with the Dragon Ball. I don't know if that's the evolving thing right there that we just saw, but if you have the legendary race, you can go wish for it and become a legendary um, Lutharian, which is, you know, a legendary Saiyan. And they did this event for, um, you know, the creator of Dragon Ball passing, so RP to my boy. They have Scorpions that you can fight. The Scorpions are super, bro, super strong. I'm not gonna cap, super strong. So, you know, I gotta stay clear of that. And they also added a raid that, you know, we're gonna touch more into in a different video. But today is gonna be a quick brief of what's new and like what to expect. And then over here, bro, you got like, you know, your traits over here, your stats, you can see your character, what he has on now. And then the overview. The overview doesn't really show anything right now, but I'm assuming they're gonna add something to it later on in the game. And then you, you have the, you know, the Tundra. I think that's what they call it. 
that you have like these Anubis bosses. Well, not really bosses, but just extra NPCs in here. You have one over there. They just randomly spawn. They do a lot of damage. I would say if you're trying to find, if you're trying to find a cave and stuff, just you know, just be careful. From what I remember, it was through. Ooh, no, 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 I'm bugging. It was through here. In here. In here. Right. I know you just gotta stick to this side and then you'll end up finding it. You just gotta stick to the and if y'all wanna like slow down the camera and stuff, y'all can. It's somewhere over here. If I missed it here, then it's in that other the other turn over there. There we are. There we are. And if y'all want to, y'all can run this back and then y'all can find this place right here. So this is the new raid. Well, it's supposed to be the new area for the raid. Now I don't know if this is in the game. Ah, damn, get off me. All right, I'm stuck, but stuck in that broom, that broom position, bro. Man, yeah, this is the new raid. Um, you know, Medusa's inside, et cetera, et cetera. You gotta fight her. This, I've seen the whole mechanics. Like I said, again, it's gonna be a whole, another video. I just wanted to show y'all that this is a place, this is gonna be a raid in the game. And you know, bada beep, bada boom, bow. And I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna keep it nice and short, bro. So like I said, again, I took a screenshot for, you know, more in depth stuff for y'all and just like the key things that y'all wanna see. And then for the Dragon Balls, a lot of people are gonna wanna know exactly where they are. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick little screenshot of what the tester, the, the tester team did. They basically, um, you know, they circled places on the map. Now, if y'all wanna take a screenshot of this, Look a little closer. This is like right by the tower. This is like towards the village right here. As I can see, like they have these little circles and stuff. But they circled it in where Dragon Balls will spawn every 30, you know, I say every 30, every 10 minutes, you can go around looking for it. Now, how do you know if a Dragon Ball spawn? You just gotta, you know, look, go look for it every 10 minutes. Put a timer, start your private server, and then go look for it. It does work in private servers also, but yo, make sure I leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. I'm not going to edit this video this time around, only because I'm in a rush. Next video I have edited for y'all because, you know, I got a live stream also tomorrow. I'm actually live streaming right now. For all y'all that came to see me and, you know, um, came to support the game, bro, I appreciate it. Brush your hands, take care, and shout out to all the guys in the server right now, respectfully. For me, shout out to the guys. But yeah, bro. Catch on the next one, all right?